Hello everyone and welcome to my review let's play of Puckstopper. Now a short background description first. I'm a member of a let's play subreddit and this subreddit is sometimes approached by game devs. Now about three weeks ago Ryan Amaral, the creator of this game, reached to the subreddit and asked for people to review his game. I think it's probably his first game, not really sure, uh, didn't really ask him. But I volunteered, because why not? Why not help people who ask for help? And in return he offered that he's going to feature my uh, YouTube channel in this game. So kind, but to be honest, I would review this game even if he didn't really do that. But what is Puckstopper and what's my review going to be like? Well, in Puckstopper, you are a goalie, one of the players in ice hockey, and you are trying to stop the pucks from reaching your net and thus the other team from scoring a goal. I guess there's not much uh, need to explain this in so great detail as probably everyone has seen a, at least one ice hockey game, but still. Now I'm going to play this for a bit and then talk about my opinion about the game. So because you know if I just babbled on you would have no idea what I'm talking about. So you can see the pucks coming at the net and we are capturing it using our equipment. Now the pucks fly quite slowly at first so it's really easy but as you catch more and more of them they will fly faster and faster and their direction will be randomized as well so in the beginning they just fly to the center but later on they can target pretty much every place around you. Now let's see what my score will be here. The best I did, despite the score claiming otherwise, was 86. Uh, I'm recording this on Boostax, so not everything is perfect, I guess. But we have a nice streak here. You can let free through. And after the third one, the game is over. So far, we haven't really let any through. And we have reached 50. You can see that it has sped up considerably. So it's slightly harder to catch them. But still, I'm managing. Okay, got 64. 364. I should focus more on the. Ah, missed one. Okay, but still two to go. I can see that the directions are getting trickier to catch. You know, once it goes there, once up. Damn. Ah. Yeah, this could be a record. Come on. Will Alpha reach the 100? Come on, come on. Ah, uh, 94. Okay, I got 94. So now let's return to the menu and let me talk a bit about what I think about the game. Now, I really like it to be honest. Despite its, you know, very simplistic um, features, it doesn't even have a real menu. I think that it's great, it works, it's fun, and it gives you a lot of options how to play the game, uh, it gives you a motivation with the high score, and as this is an Android game, originally, I can imagine myself playing it on my phone just trying to beat my high score when I'm bored. Actually that's what I'm doing, but playing it on the computer is a bit different, so sorry for my lower high score. <laughs> Now, there is definitely uh, a lot of things that could be improved on the game. For example, I think that uh, the sounds are a bit too simplistic. Uh, 
the sound of the puck when it's being sh uh, shot at you is always the same so a bit of variety would go a long way also uh, it would be good if you had some sort of options where you could preset it because say I have a high score of 300 and that's even possible I have like 140 on my phone I think uh, you don't always want to start at the slowest speed so being able to preset the difficulty right in the beginning would be a great feature it's not a must but it would improve the game uh, I also thought that maybe it would be good if uh, the way the pucks are shot at you wasn't so linear because you have it um, the speed is increasing and so is uh, the window where they're heading to if I can call it that it's hard to describe it you know the area mm, that can be targeted is increasing but it might be cool when later on uh, they be shot at uh, random random time interval say two right after each other then a small pause and then another one to a completely different area then another one to a different area and then a small pause it would make you a bit more stressed I think it would keep uh, your senses more tight and focused on the game because this is just you know it's just too linear and something else I could talk about what was I thinking oh one idea that I had I have written down here on a paper next to myself uh, one idea that could be really cool is later on if he's going to develop the game there could be a penalty shout out uh, shout out which would you know you could have a real um, ice hockey player coming at you and shooting that would be an insanely fun stuff to have in this game but other than that I don't really think that there's anything bad on the game I really like it it's uh, its simplicity is striking and everything works that's the most important thing the basic basic concept has to be fun it is it has to work which it does and it gives you a lot of a uh, lot of same motivation to improve on yourself that could be a general uh, leadership high score board but you know beating your own high score may be better than to see that some other douche <laughs> has a high score of 6000 um, so so that's not really a biggie overall I give it 4 out of 5 I have, I have it on my phone I'm playing it so uh, obviously it's a good game to kill some time and if Ryan is going to do some more work on it, I'd be happy to feature more and show you guys uh, what's new in it. Other than that, I could just only uh, show you the game again, which I'm going to do now and I hope you guys uh, will enjoy it. If you do, just download it and play it because, you know, support the indie developers, especially those who are willing to ask you about your opinion and give you the game to review it even though oh man <laughs> yeah as I said the concept is quite simple but simplicity is, is its own beauty at least so I think and there was something wrong with that sentence come on let's see if I can beat score I would like to be the hundred on the computer as well I beat it on the phone quite fast but you know playing this with a mouse is a, you know it's it's kind of weird I would have guessed that playing it with a mouse would be way simpler but for some reason it isn't maybe it's my mouse sensitivity if I turned it up a bit it would be easier for me oh man second one okay I'm not going to beat my high score come on come on oh you son of a 